Our devotional thought today comes from the book of Exodus, chapter 33 and chapter 34. And I simply call it, Leaders, present yourself to God. Leaders, present yourself to God. In chapter 33 and chapter 34 of Exodus, I love reading those chapters. It's a, it's a virtual treasure trove of principles regarding a leader's relationship with God. We learn the principles of the next generation leaders like Joshua, who remain in the presence of God even when Moses leaves. We learn the prayer life of Moses' heart. I mean, it's just, it's a treasure trove of, of a leader's walk with God. But I want to focus on one particular passage. Exodus 34, verses 1 to 3. Then the Lord told Moses, chisel out two stone tablets like the first one. So this is the second trip up the mountain. I will write on them the same words that were on the tablets you smashed. Okay, Moses, you smashed what I did before. How would you like to stand in front of God and say, you know, I know you made these, but I broke them. I got mad and broke them. He said, you smashed them. Be ready in the morning to climb up Mount Sinai and now listen and present yourself to me on top of the mountain and present yourself to me. May I challenge every one of you Every leader with a simple question. When was the last time you presented yourself to the master? Now, we recognize as pastors and connect group leaders, etc., that we are servants of God. But do we act like that? Do you remember when Jesus sent the apostles out? Mark 6, verse 30, it says, when they came back, they gathered around Jesus and told him all the things they had done and taught. They, They were accountable. They presented themselves to the master and gave an accounting of everything they had done and an accounting of everything they had taught. My grandfather always taught me this as pastoral accountability. He said, Davy, he said, you'll you'll stay saved. And he said, you'll stay in the ministry. He said, if you'll learn to just after every weekend, you come before the father and you give an accounting of everything that you've done and everything that you've taught. Now, it's amazing. Making yourself accountable to God, presenting yourself to God. This is what Moses was told to do. Present yourself to me. I want to challenge you. If you're a young pastor listening to me, when was the last time you presented yourself to the master? I have a friend in Australia, Pastor Claude. And one of the first things I loved about him as a friend was that every Saturday morning, because their church is smaller, it's in a rural area, I wish I could do what what he does. It doesn't work because COP is always full of people. But Saturday morning, their church is empty. He goes over there every Saturday morning and spends every Saturday morning just presenting himself to God. He's now 79 years old, been pastoring the same church over 45 years, built a great work for God because he knew how to present himself to God. I challenge all of the young pastors today, and for those of us that are still young, okay, learn, present yourself to God. Come and present yourself to the master.